So we have the identity matrix and it refers to the multiplicative identity. So here are uh, the identity, the two by two identity matrix, three by three identity matrix, and the n by n identity matrix. What do these all have in common? If you look down the diagonal, you have ones. And if you look away from the diagonal, you have zeros. So again, we have ones down the diagonal and zeros elsewhere. If you have n by n, you can't just draw n uh, ones. So you just uh, show that by dot, 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 meaning the ones keep going. And we just get a little bit lazy here and just write really big zeros, meaning everything else is zero. So what does the identity property mean? If you multiply a matrix by the identity, it doesn't change. And if you multiply the identity by a matrix, it doesn't change. You have to pick the right identity here. It's also important to know an identity on the right may not be the identity on the left if A is not square. So what identity do I need here? I have two rows, three columns. So I need a three by three over here. So here's the three by three I need. So we're going across, going down here. It's a good idea to get uh, a pen, sometimes even two pens or note cards or a second piece of paper so that your eyes are not going to be distracted by what you shouldn't be looking at. So we're going to go one times one is one plus negative two times zero is zero plus three times zero is zero. So that is the uh, upper left entry. So that is row one times column one, which gives us row one, column one. Now if I go to uh, row two, column one, I have zero times one is zero plus one times zero is zero, minus two times zero is zero. So I just went, uh, that was everything in row, uh, column one here. Now we're gonna go into column two. So I'm gonna block off everything that is not in column two. So bring a couple extra pens to your final exam. And we're gonna go row one, uh, column two. So we have zero. Make sure you put enough space over here. Zero. One times zero is zero. Negative two times one is negative two. Plus three times zero is zero. Now row two, same thing. You have zero plus one times one is one plus zero times negative two is zero. That was everything in uh, column two. Now we're gonna go over to column three. So I'm blocking off column one and two. We're just looking at column three now. So we have zero plus zero plus three. And now row two, we got zero plus zero minus two. So we have one, negative two, three, zero, one, negative two. And that is uh, what we started with. Now, AI should be equal to IA, and of course this is A. So if I call this first one A, this would just be A. Now if I switch the order, Let's be careful here, we get a different identity. What size should this identity be? This identity, so we have our two by three here. This identity should be two by two. And we're going across and down. Now I know what the answer should be, A. So we should get the same A that I started with. You would just go across and down. So there'd be two to go across and two to go down. So everything matches up and you should get back to A.